The Skateboard Watchtower Movie Review is brought to you by... Children of all ages, welcome to Skateboard Watchtower Movie Review brought to you by Game Store and More, Marion, North Carolina. Store and More, Marion, North Carolina. And who knows what evil lurks in the minds and hearts of men? The Shadow Knows. <laughs> oh, you know what? The sun is shining. Slippery. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. One of my favorite comic book characters. The Shadow. The Shadow. And, and I and, and I don't and know when you know how many of these I have on radio on tape. I radio do too. Shows. I do too. So I listen <laughs> yeah. to them too. But Woo. on top of that, you got to understand, the Shadow was out before Batman, and he was an inspiration for Batman. Because you got to think, what are the similarities? You have Lamont Cranston, who's a uh, rich. he's a rich billionaire. Okay, what is Bruce Wayne? He's, he's a billionaire from a, from his mom and dad too. But here's the thing about it, okay? Because there is some, there is some, some different of, because Lamont Cranston wasn't your clean. No, 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 no. Clean no, no. guy. He was an evil guy to start off with, but he wasn't as evil as what? He learned. Like, well, but if you watch, if you in, go into the Bruce Wayne thing, he had his bad side, too. Well, but Bruce Wayne was called with something. Well, his mom and dad did. He liked it because he just wanted to go out and adventure, and he got into it. He took over a whole... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Black closet. That! <laughs> a little knob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I do like it because oh yeah, because I because it, it is it starts out and it shows how the shadow he, he, yeah forms in, into another yeah in another country and the what would you say and know, I think that's the roughest I think I ever saw him in yeah, a movie. Uh, I mean, the Eastern people got a hold of him. long ass freaking nails. <laughs> um, uh, I want to say it's it's. I don't know if it was Buddhist monks or if it's some kind of monkhood that they got a hold of him. Yeah. Taught him how to the change toku. people's minds. The toku. How, how to black, how to, to uh, change their minds, how yeah. to, to keep the blind them. Yeah. In fact, that was all things that you'll, you'll, you'll learn you the toku, learn to blind them the and toku. everything. That you'll blind them so much that the only thing left will be your shadow. And that was why he's called the, the shadow. shadow. And Alec Baldwin, uh, I got to say, played a great part in this. Penelope Ann Miller. Oh my gosh. Uh, another great she was part. great. But you also had Ian McClellan yeah. playing her dad as the scientist. And doesn't uh, he look like Middle Eastern in the beginning of it a little bit? Doesn't uh, he look a little bit like. I don't know, really, but he definitely. He fits. He fits. You know, he's totally different from The Hobbit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, yeah. and also you got Tim Curry. Uh, Tim Curry. La! <laughs> 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 yeah, because and then his look on his whole face. Get uh, out of my sight. <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, I cannot think of Lamont's uncle's name now. Oh, uh, Jonathan Winters. Jonathan Winters. Uh, One of the greatest comedians is, ever lived. Yeah, playing a police chief. I mean, and he uh, does it with, and he doesn't really ham it up with comic. He does. He doesn't have any comics in this man. I mean, he's, he's actually straight, straight. Straight laced, and he's like a police chief. Except but he's for, also except a, for the drink. He's like when he but, starts flying, he's like. 
<laughs> but also, he's concerned for his nephew. He, he he shows concern, and that's the thing. He, he he thinks his nephew needs more discipline. Yeah. And, but because every time I have a meet with him, he's always kind of late. But it's because he has to do the thing with the, the bend of the yeah. shadow. And that's what's keeping him behind. I love those scenes where the cloud over his eyes will change, and he just you're not going yeah. to avoid yeah. a face force. Yeah. And then the oh, person, and, yeah, yeah, and the person will actually go, no, I'm not going to. And it's, it's just like it's like the it's like the the, the, the lead Jedi from Star Man. Wars. Yeah, uh, Jedi Mind. We, <laughs> we don't need to go. We don't need to see your ID. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I so, mean that's the thing. So the I mean, Shadow was the first Jedi. Yeah, yeah, you could say uh, that. But at the same time, but the Shadow say, had been around for years though. I prior love to this. how they struck to the authenticity. Yes, so that's what yes. I love about everything. The villain was the he villain had, from the comics. He, you know the the scar. You know when he changed, when he put on, when he went into the into the shadow mode. You know his, his whole face was changed. changed. Yeah. He had the dark the hat on. Yeah, and, and I mean he the, just the, the the scarf that went over the long face coat, the two forty fives. I mean that he was set as the shadow to rock and, and to and, and of course he went to that scum place and that's what I love about it. And he left his thing to go to the to this to that one. I forgot how to actually said about New York, and yeah. he got, he's fighting the, the the bad people in New York. And I love how I ain't saying nothing bad about New York. I'm just saying this is. I I love I love how well, this is a period piece. It's 1930s. I love how they stuck to the original villain, because Shi Wan Khan was Shi the original was one of the, the villains, villains. Original villains, and he was the last descendant of Genghis Khan. And I mean. And I like how they play that off. He's another shadow, or a form of the shadow. And I like how he taunts Lamont. I like how well, he he's wanting Lamont to join him because yeah, he knows he knows. Look, okay, Genghis Khan was my great 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 water. How long? How many grace it is to go yeah, back there? And he said, he's the I, can, I know what if he did. I know what I can do with it. But if I got your help." I get there a whole lot quicker, yeah. and we can do it because, dude. I mean, and he sits there. He actually admires uh, Cranston for what Cranston did with his military exploits and uh, taking over the villages and stuff. For, yeah, I, for I, the I love. Stuff. Like, I love how he's like. You remember? He actually when, admires. He like you remember when you did that raid on that city? You know, go to go. I read about it. I've studied it, and like how he's just excellent. <laughs> excellent. It was a master. I love how he's like. Luring him back, he's trying to he lure him tries, back. Trying to get him come back to the dark and, side. And Lamont's not having it. And I love how the art direction, as far as his lair goes, it's got a lot of Middle Eastern looking. Well, no, actually, Middle East, not Middle like Eastern, but um, Far Eastern, Far with, Eastern, with the, the Tibetan, yeah, yeah. And, and stuff like that. I like how everything kind of leans towards his teachings, and I like. How he has this system of tubes all over the city, and I thought that one was cool. Sitting, I did, yeah. One guy sitting there, and he's controlling all these little tubes coming out, I'm man. Like, and they got heaven this. forbid that's right. There's rush hour. <laughs> I'm sorry, but man. I mean, it was. I mean, and the I'm ring, that, the ring was exactly right from the comic. But with, I mean, with that whole thing, with with you know all the the pops and stuff coming in, I mean, that was like the, where the control center is. And it's like he knew everything. That and he had a cool on. name for it, the Sanctor. Yeah, the Sanctuary, or the Sanctum, uh, yeah. or Sanctuary. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and of course, that's where another actor did. that Peter Boyle. Peter Boyle, uh, yeah, the great Peter Boyle. I mean, plays Young the Frank is, driver. Young Frankenstein. Yeah, yeah plays Young Frankenstein. <laughs> uh, everybody uh, loves Raymond. Everybody loves Raymond. <laughs> Raymond's dad, yeah. Uh, he yeah. does such he a great a job, job as a cabbie. Yeah. And the cab, and I'll <laughs> be honest drives, with you, well, <laughs> the cab, I love the cab, the cord cab. Uh, I thought that looked great. Yeah, yeah, there's there's so much in this movie, man. Like I said, it is based on a time period, yeah. in the 1930s. And it's based on a hero that inspired quite a few heroes. And, and you know, the, the thing that I, that I actually said, that I actually love about it is because they stuck, because you can go back and listen to some of the radio shows and you can actually envision yeah. this going on on a radio show. And then you can take yeah, the radio yeah. shows and envision vision. And, and I love the art direction. The art direction is just dark. It was dark. It was dark, but yet it was... But yet it was hope. There was, was hope within darkness. 
it tips more in place during the night than it ever did during the day. And you get the big city vibe of the 1930s and 40s. You get the vibe of, um, you know, all this going on. You feel like the shadow could actually exist in this world. I love how... It's his world. Yeah, it's his world. I mean, it was set up. Yeah. For his for his whole thing. But I'm saying like but that time you, period as far yeah, as Yeah, and, and that's why yeah, like I said, it's based on the nineteen thirties. Mm-hmm. And when you're looking at it, um it's almost like I say, it's dark it's got that dark aspect, but from that dark I think there's light in it. It brings out that hope in it because he's the one that brings and, it in the darkness. And it's a very sophisticated movie on top of that level. Um you see a lot of club scenes. You see a lot of people in tuxes and suits. But not all that. You and got it's, the all the scientific stuff. Exactly. And, I, I the, love the scene between him and the the doctor that he saves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I thought that was kind of cool how he automatically goes right to him and. But the, I mean, then again, you got to look at. I mean, he, one of the biggest mind blowers in the whole movie. Was the cover up of the hotel. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, yeah. That because right there. Even was... he had the shadow. Couldn't believe it. Yeah. He said, man. Yeah. And then. When... I... <laughs> yeah, so. Uh... When you see it, you'll understand what I mean by And I'm going to ask you. You don't see much of that actor who played Shi Wong Khan. I don't think I've ever seen him in a movie since. I haven't checked out. I don't want to get there because I don't want to get any bad information out, so. Uh, I, I'm just I've saying. I've already had to go through one video and, and put some stuff in the I, I'm not saying so. that he yeah, passed not, on or nothing like that. I'm just saying. I don't remember who it was. I, I, don't, I haven't seen him hardly at all. Him. I mean. Um, but let's get all that started because I said I wanted to push back there. I, um, um, the cast, as far as the cast goes. Alec Baldwin. Like I said, the cast was great. We had Alec Baldwin playing a sophisticated guy. We played a ruthless warlord. Sophisticated guy. He, it, it, and he, he grows. Who's he grows. Life. Yeah, and then somebody but, finds um, him. Penelope Ann Miller. She's got these psychic She plays Margot Lane. Read, she can read people's minds. And, he, and that this, scares him. And, yeah. and she's actually, he's like, you know what? No, I'm, I think she's my, could be my work. If she would be, she could be his work to enemy. Yes. Yes. You know, she was reading, and she was I'm going to point this out. When this movie came out, it was kind of a bomb. Yeah, I never. And, and, I, and I never got that because I saw it. I think my mom rented it. I never got a chance to see it in the theaters. I think I was a little too young to see it in the theaters, but she rented it right when it went on VHS, and I saw it, and I fell in love with it from the beginning. That was where I saw the DVD. And it I saw it VHS. VHS, yeah. yeah VHS. And, the and then you didn't hear nothing about it. You heard nothing more about it. You didn't hear it. And then all of a sudden, it became kind of a cult film. It's become a cult yeah, film now. Yeah, people started coming out and started looking, which is what we say. Go watch The Shadow. Go watch The Shadow. The Shadow, it's, 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 no. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, uh, one to five. Entertainment. Five. Five. Um, one, to, uh, one to five, f- as far as period time. Period time is probably a five because I'm it's, not say gotta give it a five. Because they big, spent a lot of dude, time. A lot of money, they Did you see some of the vehicles. scope shots of just seeing all the cars the and vehicles, the bridge shot? I mean, everything was, was looked like it right did down on the money, including the, the 45s. And, and I mean, uh, because he had the hardball 45s, the, the long, the long yeah, version. Yeah. And that's why I look. And as far as the popcorn, ten. Pop. It's got to have a 10. I'm giving it 10. I mean, it's got to have a 10. There ain't too many movies we have to get, have to get anything less than 10. I think there's, we there's, haven't there's, seen some bad movies yet, so. We, well. Uh, we're getting ready to, trust me. So, we're but, getting ready to. Yeah, okay, so we got five, five. So we got all high scores on this. This is, I think, the first one. We, just, we got have high scores on it. Yeah, all the way through five, five, five. Yeah, so five, five, and 10. So, ooh. And so the shadow, it's an oldie, but it's a good. It's becoming and a if cult you can classic. find it, it's pretty good. And I'm pretty sure they'll have it. They can get it for you. Yeah, and where can we? Where can somebody buy this at? Game store and more in Marion, North Carolina. Game store and more, Marion, North Carolina. You can just uh, 
and you can actually order it. If they don't have it, you can ask them to order it for you, and they will go online, find out the price for you, and if you want it, they will get it for you. I know they have done it for me. Why? Because Game Store and more knows Game Store and more. <laughs> yeah, All right, paper. from so, the Skateboard Watchtower movie review, Love, Peace, and Chicken, chicken Grease. We're out of here.